rarity at Syracuse University. Not a single student outside of sorority and fraternity houses on a sunny afternoon. Greek life is being hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, but none other hit more hard than the Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority. An entire house under a strict quarantine after two members tested positive for COVID-19 last week. Since then, the house has been at a standstill. Outside, a single sign reminding people to wear their masks on campus. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm sad and, and frustrated to hear that um, girls, women in Kappa are, have tested positive. Former VP of Philanthropy at KKG, Kieran Gadioso, says that this is a lesson learned for all students at Syracuse University. It's not easy to, to quarantine. It's not easy to follow all these rules. But at the end of the day, it's, it's our moral and our personal and our community obligation to take care of ourselves so that we're taking care of each other. The recent COVID cases don't stop there, however. Yesterday, SU reported 10 new positive cases. Today, VP of Student Experience Robert Rasky reporting that many of these cases stem from students traveling away from Syracuse over Labor Day weekend. These numbers also coming after SU finished their second round of COVID screening for all students. The screening required all students to rub a swab in their mouths for 30 seconds, like this. COVID response program manager AJ Florkowski believes that we must avoid staying complacent. Complacency, I think, is going to be one of our biggest enemies. You know, we just have to stay vigilant. We have to stay on top of it. SU says they believe they can continue on campus, but it requires all students to take their part in keeping everyone else safe. For Citrus TV News, I'm Josh Myers.